It's 5.30. We're going to go ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, Mayor Ocaña and Jessica, uh, are, I understand, are on their way. So we're going to go ahead and start the meeting, and then we'll, we'll um, um, get started. So the first item is the Pledge of Allegiance and uh, Invocation. I think. Let's bow our heads, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the freedom and ability to be able to gather here today, Lord. We ask that you bless the efforts placed in every project, every event, and all business conducted in our community. Lord, we pray for peace and comfort for Mayor Ocaña's family during the recent passing of their beloved family member, Alberto Ocaña. We ask that you bless this meeting today and all those present here with us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Next item is the proclamation for Fire Prevention Week 2018. <coughs> Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to speak today. Whereas the City of Mission, Texas is committed to ensuring the safety and security of all those living and visiting mission, and whereas fire is a serious public safety concern, both locally and nationally, and the homes are the locations where people are at greatest risk from fire, and whereas home fires killed 2,735 people in the United States in 2016, according to the National Fire Protection Association, and the fire departments in the U.S., the United States responded to 352,000 home fires, and whereas the majority of the U.S. fire deaths, four out of five, occur at the home each year, and whereas the fire death rate per thousand homes, for thousand home fire reported in the U.S. fire departments, are 10 percent higher than in 2016 than they were in 1980, and whereas mission first responders are dedicated to reducing the fire currents and the home of the homes and home fire injuries through prevention and protection education and whereas in 2018 fire prevention week theme look listen learn be aware fire can happen anywhere effectively effectively serves to remind us that we need to take personal steps to increase our safety from fire now therefore we the city the city council of the city of mission do hereby proclaim October 7th through the 13th, 2018, as Fire Prevention Week throughout the city. And I urge all the people in Mission to be aware of their surroundings. Look for available ways out in the event of a fire or other emergencies. Respond when the smoke alarms sound by exiting the buildings immediately and to support the many public safety activities and efforts of the Mission Fire Department during <coughs> Fire Prevention Week 2018. Proclaim this 24th day of September 2018. Thank you. I move to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second to um, accept the proclamation for Fire Prevention Week October 7th through the 13th. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Picture? A photo. We're missing two. You want to wait? till maybe? Yeah, hopefully <coughs> we get the rest of the crew here. Okay. Okay. Is that okay, Matthew? That's fine, ma'am. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, next item is the uh, uh, proclamation for National Day of Remembrance for murder victims. Hi. Good afternoon, Mayor Pontem, City Council. The proclamation reads as follows. Whereas the National Parents of Murdered Children, POMC, -P established September 25th as a National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims as a result of unanimously passed resolutions by the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House of Representatives. Whereas POMC believes that honoring the memory of victims who have been killed by violence and acknowledging the resulting long-term trauma for families, communities, and the nation is an important way of promoting public awareness and remembering our loved ones. 
whereas POMC chapters, contact persons, and other organizations such as the Rio Grande Valley Families and Friends of Murdered Children, Inc. will be holding an event to commemorate the Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims on Tuesday, September the 25th, 2018. And whereas in 2017 there was an estimated 17,250 homicides nationwide, of which the Rio Grande Valley experienced 34 homicides, one murder every 33.5 minutes in the United States. And whereas the murder of a loved one robs their family of a mother, father, sister, brother, son, daughter, husband, wife, partner, grandparent, aunt, uncle, extended family member, friend, neighbor, or colleague, and creates an overwhelming challenge to fill the void that their absence creates. And whereas survivors of homicide victims transform their pain and anger into power and action by honoring the memory of their loved ones impacted by homicide. Through their leadership, grief support, and advocacy, survivors are reducing violence and promoting prevention and policy change on local, state, and national levels. And now, therefore, we, the City Council, the City of Mission, do hereby proclaim September the 25th, 2018, as National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims. And we urge all citizens of the City of Mission to join us for the sixth annual candlelight vigil, find strength in unity, love and fond memories, and hope in the future, to be held at the FAR Event Center located at 3000 North Cage in FAR, Texas, from 6 to 9 p.m., and participate in the and its observance. Proclaim this the 24th day of September 2018. Thank you, Chief. Move to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second to accept the National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims on sep for September the 25th, 2018. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Mayor Thank you. Pro Tem. I know that Mr. Roberto Garcia, I don't know if he's made He's just walking in, Chief. Uh, he's walking right up. Uh, okay. Um, he wanted to say a few words. Yes, absolutely. And at the same time, I wa wanted to recognize my staff uh, that take care of a lot of these cases uh, with murder victims. I have Lieutenant Jose Macias, uh, Diana Macias, our crime victim liaison, uh, Sergeant Ruben Gaitan with our Criminal Investigations Division, and Investigator Roque Vela as well. Thank you for what you're doing, Thank guys. you. Thank you. Well. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Garza, members of the commission, Mr. Plata. Here with me, some of the mothers, fathers, and, and, uh, and uh, brother-in-law, and certainly myself, my brother was a victim of a homicide, murdered in 2013. Um, my bad. It was September 13, 2011. It was a murder-suicide. My sister-in-law murdered my brother while he was taking a shower. This is why we're here. The journey began back then. It was important for me not only to bring some type of awareness back to the community for this injustice that happened to my brother, uh, he was going to retire in December, and this happened in September. So what is best to honor and keep my promise to my mother uh, that we will always um, have a sense of bringing awareness to the community? When we found out this tragedy, uh, there's a cry from a mother that I cannot express, only the mothers can express to you what that cry means. What I did say is that I was going to take a, an oath and a pledge, what we call the conflict, I mean, the voice resolution. And the voice was, we're going to be the voice for our loved ones. And it was important for the community and including the uh, leadership to understand how important law enforcement, how important we as victims. Why we say we is because why too often we're not victims because the victim is six feet under. You don't see like domestic violence, child abuse, sexual assault, um, human trafficking victims. You don't see them physically because our victims, we're the cold victims. So if you, my uh, uh, city manager, uh, council members, and the community, I do swallow resolve before God to take full responsibility to become the voice of my loved one 
I will be the voice to preserve the honor by my loved one's memory and inform all survivors of homicide families about the rights. I will be the voice to transfer, transform my pain, grief, and anger into power and action. I will be the voice of the surviving children who are left fatherless and motherless and advocate for protection, safety, and justice for them. I will be the voice to use this tragedy to tell stories of pain and anger inflicted by the murder. I will be the voice that rejects the, the path of retaliation, shame, and isolation. I will be the voice of teaching lessons of love, compassion, and violence prevention. I will be the voice of leadership and advocacy by promoting policy change on a local, state, and national level. I will be the voice that rejects ignorance when people tell us that we're not real victims, when we have lost something more precious to us than our own life. And I tell the community, look around, they're right behind me. I will be the voice of the new circle of family and friends that have joined us and provide us with a new strength of hope and love. I will be the voice that conf confront the cowards, the evil individuals who made these toys and will pursue justice, love, love and mercy to all survivors, uh, families and friends. I will be the voice that demand and declare a fair treatment to survivors of homicide by providing them with kindness, respect and compassion during and after the trial. I will be the voice and forgive those who have wronged us and walk with the truth unlike the cowardly murdered that he will ultimately answer to God. I will be the voice that connects support group survivors in grief so we can find unconditional love and relief. I will, I will, and I will be the voice and courageously work with the strength of God to fulfill this resolution. As long as I breathe, we will remember them all for his glory. So we are the families. Where are the families of friends of murdered children who will join us and stand up and be the voice of our loved ones? Join us September the 25th of tomorrow at 6 o'clock at the Far Event Center. And let us rejoice in the name of our loved ones. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Brother. Mr. Garcia, do you want to bring your group over here? We'll take a quick picture with the council also. We'd like to invite the city employees with the police department who will assist these uh, victims with their uh, with their crimes. Over here. And then three, two, one. Now we move. We do one more. 
three, two, one. Next item on the agenda is the report from the Greater Mission Chamber of Commerce. Is someone here for that report? Nothing? Oh, there you go. Hi. Good evening. Yes. I'm Jennifer Nava, the Director of Events and Marketing at the Mission Chamber of Commerce, reporting on recent events and upcoming events associated with the Chamber. On September 11th, together with the City of Mission, we hosted a superintendent's meet and greet greeting the new Sherryland and Mission CISD superintendents. On September 14th, we held our Buenas Tardes luncheon, featuring keynote speaker Mr. Dat Nguyen, a former Dallas Cowboy and Texas Aggie. The event was well attended with over 200 individuals from the business community and regional business community. On September 20th, we hosted a private ribbon cutting and corporate greeting for Black & Decker. Also on September 20th, we held a member spotlight mixer at the Loretto here in Mission, which was also a ribbon cutting and fall menu unveiling. <coughs> Thank you, council members, for attending that as well. Upcoming events. Tomorrow, we have a grand open and opening and ribbon cutting for Heavenly Healthcare, that is um, owned by the Shaw family, Dr. Nora Shaw, and is located there in the same plaza as Shaw Eye Center. It will be Tuesday, September 25th, from 10.30 to 12.30, with the ribbon cutting at 11 a.m. Last but certainly not least is our 2018 Annual Banquet and our Chamber Choice and Citizens Awards. It will be Friday, October the 5th, at the Mission Event Center. Some of the awards that we will be having that evening include the First Lady of Mission and Mr. Mission Awards, which are voted by the people of Mission with the Progress Times. Those will be released in the paper this week, the winners of those awards, so be looking for those. The Excellence in Government Award, which is part of our Chamber Choice Award, will be given to Aida Lerma, City of Mission. Emerging Leader Award to Mario Reno from Meldon and Hunt. Executive of the Year Award goes to Sarah Hammond of Atlas Electric. Our Top 5 Small Business Awards go to Ranch House Burgers, The Bryan House, Waterford Gardens, Hector Rivera, and The Grounds Guys. And our Corporate Awards, Top 5 Corporate Businesses go to Ocean Gate Hospitality, Texas Regional Bank, Raising Canes, Valley Land Title, and Mission Regional Medical Center. We hope you can join us that evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, we'll move on to the next item, uh, and that's the departmental reports. Are there any questions? They were in the packet. And if not, is there a motion to accept? I move to accept the departmental reports as presented. Second. Okay. There's a motion and a second to accept the departmental reports as presented. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item is citizens' participation. Uh, this item is for anyone in the audience that would like to address the council uh, on uh, items that are not on the agenda. So if anybody would like to speak at this time, please state your name and address. Thank you. Well, I won't say my address due to my <laughs> position, but uh, Jonathan Wormeister, Mission Municipal Judge, Presiding Judge, um, Mayor Pro Tem, City Council, and City Manager. I am pleased to announce that the Mission Municipal Court will be implementing a walk-in docket 
starting next Monday, October 1st, 2018. <clears throat> Walk-in dockets will be available for defendants Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. The purpose of a walk-in docket is to enhance the administration of justice by allowing defendants an option where they have some measure of control as to how and when they resolve their cases. It will allow defendants who are scheduled at a different time or are not scheduled at all more options to appear at the court on a date and time that best fits their own schedule and is more convenient for them. <clears throat> Excuse me. The defendants will have the opportunity to speak to a judge, to have plea options explained to them, enter a plea, request a payment plan, and to seek alternate methods of payment such as community service or an indigency determination. It should allow them easier access to justice. Defendants will not be permitted to discuss the merits of their case with the judge. So basically I kind of envisioned three types of uh, individuals that would come before the court on this walk-in docket. The first would be, first example would be someone coming in wishing to speak to a judge to have plea options explained to them regarding whether they want to plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest. The first scenario would be someone that comes before the court wishing to maybe seek a deferral to keep the ticket off their record or request community service, and they could be handled at that time without the necessity of a further hearing. The second scenario where I envision someone would be someone that wants their plea options explained to them and would actually enter a plea of not guilty. At that time, the judge, once someone pleads not guilty, the judge cannot discuss the merits of the case until the prosecutor and witnesses are called. But instead of actually mailing the person notice, the envision would be to actually hand the people notice of their trial date, whether it be before a judge or a jury. And the third scenario would be someone who's issued a ticket, let's say, in their appearance dates for October 12th, and they notice on their calendar they're gonna be out of town or on vacation October 12th, they can come by any time before that date and uh, speak to a judge about the options if they wish to do so at their convenience. So we're hoping to make it much more accessible to the, to the public, to have access to the judges, and to resolve their matters and get justice for their cases in a much more uh, prompt manner. Uh, there are other cities that uh, have already implemented this walk-in docket some for several years, Amarillo, Midland, some smaller cities like Woodway, Lancaster. Um, to my knowledge, though, I think this will be a first of its kind of an announced walk-in docket here in the, here in the valley. And uh, so, have any questions? Thank no. you so much, Judge. Thank you. Yes, that's, Thank that's you, Judge. Appreciate great. that. Thank you so much, Thank Judge. <coughs> okay. All right. Is there anyone else that would like to address the uh, council? If not... Uh, we'll move on to the public hearings, and the first item on the agenda <coughs> is uh, rezoning of 0.76 acre track, more or less, out of lot 42 Bellwoods Company subdivision, R2 to C2. Good afternoon, Mayor Pro Tem and Council. Item 1.1a is a public hearing for rezoning of a 0.76 acre tract of land, more or less, out of lot 42 Bellwoods Company subdivision C. The property is currently zoned R2 duplex fourplex residential and the intent is to rezone it to C2 neighborhood commercial. The applicant is Gilberto Gutierrez and if the council is inclined to approve this rezoning request, it would require the adoption of an ordinance. On August 8, 2018, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this rezoning request. The subject site is located at the east side of Shrosper Road, approximately 1,500 feet north of West Two Mile Road. The surrounding zones include C2 to the north, R2 duplex, duplex fourplex residential to the east and south, and public to the west. Uh, this property does border Escobar Rios Elementary. Uh, what we have here, uh, Mayor Pro Tem and Council, is a property that uh, initially was rezoned back in July 9th of 2017. Uh, this is part of a 3.86 acre tract of land. And as you can see there on the aerial, there's a little road that uh, leads uh, people or residents into and out of the property. Uh, what the applicant has done, however, is that he's, in, he's hired an engineer and uh, he's gonna shift and construct a brand new road down the middle of the 3.86 acres. So he needs an additional little snippet of property uh, to extend his current commercial C2 zoning. 
And this is all that this is. Uh, we're re requesting approval of this. There was no opposition at the PNZ meeting. The board unanimously recommended approval. Staff is recommending approval, as is our city manager. This is a public hearing item. Item 1.1A is now before you. Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition of this rezoning? Anyone here that would like to address the council in favor or in opposition of this rezoning? Would anybody like to speak in favor or in opposition of the rezoning? There being no um, uh, no 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 other pu public uh, um, concerns. Is there a motion or any questions? I move to approve based on the recommendation of Planning and Zoning and staff. Second. There's a motion and a second to accept the rezoning to C2. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Mayor Pro Tem, that would be ordinance number 4698. 4698. I'm sorry, Anna. I missed that one. All right. Thank you. Next item. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. In council, item 1.1B <coughs> is a public hearing for rezoning of a 0.16 acre tract of land, more or less, out of Lot 42, Bellwoods Company Subdivision C. The property is zoned C2, and the intent is to rezone it to R2, duplex, fourplex. The, the applicant is Gilberto Gutierrez, and if the council is inclined to approve this rezoning request, it would require the adoption of an ordinance. On September 12, 2018, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this rezoning request. The subject site is located along the east side of Trosper Road, approximately 1,500 feet north of West Mile 2 Road. Uh, surrounding zones include agriculture open interim to the north and uh, duplex, fourplex residential to the east and south and public to the west. This is uh, the adjoining piece of property that also needs consideration uh, just like we just uh, saw the item 1.1A. Uh, however, this property is zoned um, R, it's currently zoned R2, and the intent is to rezone it to, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's C2, and, it, and we need to rezone it to R2. R2. The mm -hmm. remainder of the of the lots uh, to the east and everything to the south is zoned duplex, fourplex. Mm -hmm. So this little snippet needs to also be rezoned to R2. There was no opposition during the PNZ meeting. The board unanimously recommended approval. Staff is recommending approval, as is our city manager. This is a public hearing. Item 1.1B is now before you. Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor or against the item? Anyone here in favor or against? Please come forward. Anyone here that would like to speak in favor or against? There being no other public comment, is there a motion or questions? I have a question. Are you going to be merged as one tract? No, it's actually 12, 12 or 13 different lots. Oh, okay. That's it. I'll, okay. I'll make a motion to approve as presented. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the item as presented. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Next item, Jaime. Oh. 4699. 4699. Thank you, Anna. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem and Council. Item 1.1C is a public hearing for discussion and action amending the Mission Code of Ordinances, Appendix A, <coughs> Zoning Ordinance, Article 8, Sections 1.412, 1 1.422, and 1.432, by amending the requirement of the R3 permitted uses as permitted uses within the C1, C2, and C3 land uh, districts. And if the council is inclined to approve this amendment, it would require the adoption of an ordinance. On September 12, 2018, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider the following amendments to Appendix A of the Zoning Code. Uh, this uh, amendment has to do with the mixed uses of a property. Previously, R3 uses were allowed as long as they were secondary to all other permitted commercial uses within a district. This amendment removes the term secondary from the equation and allows mixed uses without conditions as long as they are compatible with the adjacent land uses. So there's no restriction as to the number of commercial units that are needed versus the number of residential units. Okay. And uh, there was no opposition during the PNZ meeting. The board unanimously recommended approval. Staff is recommending approval, as is our city manager. This is a public hearing. Item 1.1C is now before you. Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition of the item? 
Anyone here to speak in opposition or in favor of? Anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition of the item? There being none, are there any questions? Move for approval. Second. <coughs> Motion and a second with the uh, ordinance number being 4700. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem and Council. Item 1.1D is a public hearing for discussion and action to adopt an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Mission, Texas, amending the, the City of Mission Code of Ordinances Appendix A, zoning sections 1.413, 1.423, 1.443, 1.444, 1.445, 1.446, 1.447, 1.448, 1.449, 1.450, 1.451, 1.452, 1.453, 1.454, 1.455, 1.456, 1.457, 1.458, 1.459, 1.460, 1.471, 1.472, 1.473, 1.474, 1.475, 1.476, 1.478, 1.478, 1.479, 1.480, 1.481, 1.482, 1.483, 1.484, 1.485, 1.486, 1.487, 1.488, 1.489, 1.490, 1.491, 1.492, 1.493, 1.494, 1.495, 1.496, 1.497, 1.498, 1.499, 1.500, 1.501, 1.502, 1.503, 1.504, 1.505, 1.506, 1.507, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 
uh, that being designated a mobile food park. If it's designated a mobile food park, then mobile food units can uh, don't so have in to this be case, um, the EDC coming forward with a conditional use permit for a certain amount of square foot of the park. of the to be of the parking to be cons uh, considered a mobile park. That's correct. Park, correct? Yes. yes, we can do that. Okay. I still have a little concern about the thousand feet because that's almost a quarter mile, right? Where, where are the engineers? It's a quarter mile is like 1,200. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that was put out there because it was more of the general use throughout downtown, throughout the entire city, right? So you don't want to see one in each, or you don't want to yeah, see a corner. bundle in each corner. Yeah. And so I think that was the purpose of that. I just want to make sure that we don't tie our hands on other projects that we're working. Okay. But I think I, the I, language is there. Okay, well, I guess if we see an, an issue with 1,000 feet, we could always come back and amend it. Absolutely. Okay. All right, any other questions? No other questions. I'll move to approve as presented. Second. second. There's a motion and a second to approve the item as presented, and that would be ordinance number 4701. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item, Jaime. Thank you, Board of Council. Item 1.1e is a public hearing for a conditional use permit for the sale and on-site consumption of alcoholic beverages at the 495 Cafe. This is at 2614 <coughs> East Griffin Parkway, Lot 1 of Star Quick Car Spa. The property is owned C3 and the applicant is Carlos Peralta. And if the council is inclined to approve this conditional use permit request, it would require the adoption of an ordinance. On June 27, 2018, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this conditional use permit. The subject site is located 600 feet west of, Tower, of Taylor Road along the south side of Griffin Parkway. This location is currently home to the Car Spa, a multi-service facility which is a full car care center. It also has a hair salon and previously it had an ice cream parlor. Uh, the applicant has since taken over the ice cream parlor and has uh, has been operating a Dominican Caribbean food restaurant. While the applicant currently does have a business license for the restaurant, he would also like to offer the sale and outside consumption of alcohol from this location. The hours of operation will be from 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. Sunday through Friday, he is closed on Saturdays. A total of four employees will man the operation. Parking and landscaping are existing and meet code. Such uses need to be 300 feet from residential uses and there are some houses within 300 feet. Thus a waiver of the separation requirement needs to be considered. There was no opposition during the p and meeting. The board unanimously recommended approval. Staff is recommending approval subject to a two-year approval at which time the applicant will have to renew their TABC license and conditional use permit that the property be wet zoned and that they continue to comply with all building, fire, and health codes. We're also asking that they waive the 300-foot separation to residential neighborhoods. Our city manager is also recommending approval. This is a public hearing item. Item 1.1E is now before you. Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition of the conditional use permit? Anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition of the conditional use permit? Anyone here would like to speak in favor or in opposition of the conditional use permit discussed? If there is no other public comment, are there any questions or motion to be offered? Um, so I have a question, Mayor Pro Tem. Yes. They're requesting to, while you're waiting to get your car washed, they're going to have alcoholic. alcoholic beverages and then drive away? Um, I kind of have an issue with that. Well, it's a restaurant inside, and it's a long facility. Um, most of the oh, business... So it's also a restaurant. Yeah, it's, it's a restaurant inside. This is some pictures showing you. It, it used to be an ice cream parlor. He's since converted it into a full-blown restaurant. Um, most of the business would be in the evenings when the car wash is closed. Okay. Is there somebody here? Yes. Are the owners here? The applicant is here. So we'll be, at what time are they closing right now? At midnight. They close by 6. The car wash typically closes when sun goes down 6 or 7. Uh, the restaurant, however, remains open <coughs> until midnight. It's open. <coughs> Si gustan, ustedes tienen la oportunidad de decir unos, uh, unas palabras para apoyar su negocio también. Excuse me, Gabriel. Yes, sir. My name is Carlos Peralta. Uh, we're the owners, and we basically have the beer for the customers. It's for family uh, deal only. Um, we're going to be open mainly on Sundays. On Monday through Fridays, we'll be open. 
but it's not going to be very consuming beer for the car wash, like the young lady was thinking. I mean, they're welcome, but we, it's not it's not based for the car wash. Are you the owner of the car wash too? No, <coughs> oh, sir. I rent the restaurant. Oh, okay. Okay. And why is there a waiver required of the residential? Because we're within 300 feet, and uh, anytime we sell alcohol within 300 feet, we require that there be a waiver. Did any neighbors come up and say that they had a problem? We know that the uh, community is making sure that that's the position of the community and the calls. Okay. What about the employees of the car wash? I mean, are they going to be able to go and buy <laughs> beer for the... I don't think so. <laughs> um, <laughs> But they take breaks there, they eat there. Okay. We'll be available. They could put a skin dude too. It's not like they go Okay. Yeah. Well, he, he, I think he's making clear that he's not the owner of the car wash. Mm -hmm. And that's a separate business. He's selling the alcohol because of the restaurant that he's got, uh, you know, and so that's part of the business that you're trying to conduct. Ma'am, you wanted to say something? I'm sorry. Sí. Okay. Gracias. All right. Is there a motion? Move to approve. I'll second. There's a motion and a second to approve the conditional use permit as um, uh, presented. Uh, that would be the adoption of <coughs> ordinance number 4702 and the 4703 ordinance for the approving the wet zone. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. There's one, one no. So it's a three, I'm an, I'm an I, three one. Um, Ruben. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All righty, next item. Thank you, Mayor Potts. I'm in council. Item 1.1F is a public hearing for a condition <coughs> use permit for the sale and on-site consumption of alcoholic beverages at Uchitos Buffet and More. The address is 302 West Griffin Parkway, Suites A and B, which is all of Lot 2 Storage Depot Subdivision. The property is owned C3. And Wichitos Buffet and More LLC is the applicant. And if the council is inclined to approve this conditional use permit request, it would require the adoption of an ordinance. On September 12, 2018, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this conditional use permit request. The subject site is located approximately a quarter mile west of Conway along the north side of Griffin Parkway. The applicant is proposing to add the sale of alcohol to, to the buffet restaurant, which is located within a commercial plaza. The hours of operation are Sunday are Monday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. A total of six employees through through various shifts man the operation. With regards to parking and landscaping, they are existing and meeting code. Uh, one of the things that we we noticed during the previous meeting was that the parking needed to be restriped uh, between the time that this item was approved at the PNZ uh, until today. Uh, the applicant has gone ahead and restriped uh, the parking lot completely. Um, section 6-4 requires that no alcohol be served within 300 feet of a church, public or private road, or public hospital, and there are no such uses. There are also no residents within 300 feet. There was no public opposition during the PNZ meeting. The board unanimously recommended approval. Staff is recommending approval subject to a two-year two approval, at which time the applicant will have to renew their TABC license and conditional use permit that they continue to comply with all building and fire and health codes. Our city manager is also recommending approval. This is a public hearing item. Item 1.1F is now before you. Okay. Um, is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition of the conditional use permit? Anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition of the conditional use permit for consumption of alcoholic beverages at Wichitos Buffet and more? Anyone here that would like to speak in favor or in opposition? There being no other public comment, is there a motion? Move for approval. Questions? Okay. Second. 
There's a motion and a second to approve the conditional use permit as presented. And that would be ordinance number 4704. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. <coughs> motion passes unanimously. Next item. Thank you, Mayor Bottom and Council. Item 1.1G is a public hearing for a conditional use permit to keep a portable building for an auto sales office use. This is for Jay Sanchez Motors at 1418 East Business Highway 83, being Lot 1, Lemon Tree Plaza Subdivision. The property is owned C3, and if the Council is inclined to approve this conditional use permit, it would require the adoption of an ordinance. On September 12, 2018, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this conditional use permit request. The subject site is located at the southwest corner of Lemon Tree and Business Highway 83. The CUP was originally approved on February 13th of 2017 for one year. However, the applicant didn't really open until September of 2017. And uh, it was initially granted for one year, and uh, he is reapplying for reconsideration of the 15 by 8 portable building that he uses for his used car sales lot. The hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. A total of two to three employees man this operation. There was no public opposition during the PNZ meeting. However, the, the board only granted a one-year approval. Uh, the applicant, when he first applied, was, was um, or told staff and the PNZ that they were only going to be there for three years. Uh, their intentions were to construct a site-built permanent structure. Uh, the board felt that uh, one, one additional year was sufficient time for the applicant, and then after that, they're going to be requiring the applicant to construct a site-built structure. Staff is also recommending approval for, for a one-year pending completion of a permanent building structure for the office use at this location. Our city manager is also recommending approval. This is a public hearing. Item 1.1G is now before you. Okay. Is there anyone in the... Audience that would like to speak in favor or against the conditional use permit? Yes, sir. <coughs> Where? I'm Juan Flores. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. General Manager for J. Sanchez Morris. My boss couldn't be here. He's out of town. I uh, came aboard in this company uh, six months ago and uh, working with two hands, watching cars, financing, buying selling and uh, like you can tell we, that's a recent picture we really don't have no, no many cars but we're trying to a day a day to survive in the business first year in the car business is hard especially when when you don't have the capital to, to, to keep going just day at a time we're requesting with all our hearts to see if we can extend that permit uh, so we can start Right now, at this time, I don't have a site date when we're going to have a groundbreaking. But we, we know we need it, and we just need an extension and an opportunity to keep on, to grow our business a little bit more so we can finance those those matters that I know we need to resolve. Okay. But would you help, guys? I mean, we don't want to close down. I mean, it's, we already invested time and heart and sweat, and, and we, we're trying. We just need a little bit more time. Okay. But you're okay with a one year, though? One more year? One, is that what you're... Uh, that, or? that will help us a lot. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor or in opposition? If there's no other public comments, uh, is there a motion or questions? Move to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second to... Uh, approve the conditional use permit as presented for one year. And that would be ordinance number 4705. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. And that would be the end or the closing of the public hearings. The next item um, <coughs> are the, is the 2.0 is the consent agenda. Are there any items that... Uh, Council would like to pull, or is there, are there any questions or a motion? I move to approve the consent agenda as listed. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as listed, and um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Yes. Thank you, Anna. 
All right, we'll move on to 3.0, approvals and authorizations. And time is back up again. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem and Council. Item 3.1 is a preliminary plat approval of Ansaldua's Business Park subdivision. This is a 55.646 acres out of lots 10-5, 10-6, and 11-5 and 11-6 West Edition of Sherryland Subdivision. The property is currently zoned Light Industrial I-1 and the developers Jesus Caballero, the engineers Mario Salinas of Mass Engineering LLC. The proposed subdivision is located near the northwest corner of Conway Boulevard and Military Highway intersection. The development consists of 28 industrial lots, most of which are over one acre in size, and there is one particular lot that is 14.23 acres. Infrastructure is available with the exception of sewer. The applicant is also requesting a variance to have lot one, which is the 14.23 acre lot, on a septic system until the sewer, until the sewer services are available in the area. All lots will be developed and pre-installed with sewer lines so that they can transition into the city sewer when available. Staff is recommending approval subject to approval of the variance for lot one to be on septic system until city sewers available, that the streets comply with the street alignment policy and the street names, that they comply with all format findings. We're also asking that they pay a sewer capital recovery fee in the amount of $750 per acre, which equates to $41,734, that they provide a street light plan for staff to review, that they be excluded from the water district, and that they abandon the septic system and connect to the city sewer system when available. Our city manager and other respected departments are also recommending approval. Item 3.1 is now before you. Are there any questions? So we don't have sewer out there yet? It's about two and a quarter miles from the sewer plant. There are no sewer services along the west side of Conway. There are sewer services on the east side of Conway that service the residents of Madero, but on the west side we don't have a sewer line that can be extended to these people. I mean, but they're only asking for lot one to be um, septic. At this time, septic. they're only asking for lot one. Um, I did talk to the applicant, and if other lots get sold, they're going to be coming in for variances on those lots. But for right now, the only one that they're requesting a variance is on lot one. They're hoping that by the time this gets developed and constructed, that the city would have already extended the sewer to that area. Okay. And those instructions have been given to our engineering department and public works <coughs> director as well, ma'am. So we're looking at three different sites within the city to extend a sewer um, service, <coughs> one being this area. Okay. And so we're working very closely with um, with the EDC regarding a cold storage that's supposed to be going to that location. And the fact that there's no other residential area or any other businesses, this would be the first in the area. Um, we feel that granting the um, the variance uh, is okay because of there's no health issue or potential issues that could happen because there's no other residential areas. However, um, I know Robert and JP are working on, on, on those plans and hoping that we can start on those three projects as soon as possible. Okay, so my next question is, so will there be um, uh, sanitary sewer Provided, I mean, not 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 the not the actual service, but will the lines be in there? Yes. They will be in there. All of the lots will okay. will have sewer lines. Okay. All right. Until until we'll get there to um, right at the corner of Military and uh, and Conway. Okay. And that's when they're they'll connect to that area. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. And I believe the engineer is here. I don't know if there's any questions for the engineer. He's also in contact with um, the developer as well. Okay. You, do you have anything else to add? Did, to you're welcome to come up. Please state your name and address. Good afternoon. My name is Mario Salina with MAS Engineering. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, just to let you know, all the public infrastructure is going to be in place, which is the sanitary sewer. Everything is going to be there at the construction. Okay. Uh, that has to be there. I know that the city has a, a project for the sanitary sewer to be extended all the way to the uh, sewer plant. But for right now, it's better for the development to be uh, constructed and installed at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, streets, uh, street lights, water, uh, even storm connected to the textile system over here in Conway. Everything is going to be constructed. It, it'll all be in place. Okay. Yes. All righty. Well, thank you. Thank you. 
there any other questions or a motion to be offered? <coughs> Move for approval. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the preliminary flat approval for Anseldewa's Bridge Business Park subdivision. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Thank you, uh, Mayor Pro Tem and Council. Item 3.2 is a final plat approval of 6 Western Vega subdivision. This is a 20-acre tract of land out of the south, 724 feet of the west, 1,452 feet of the south, 67.33 acres of the west, 127.33 acres of the south, 175.39 acres lying west of Hidalgo County Water Control and Improvements District Number 6, Main Canal, out of Block 16, Texas Garden Subdivision, ETJ. This is in our ETJ, and the developer is Texas Ranch, LLC. The engineer is Quintanilla Headley and Associates. Uh, this is located along the east side of Western Road and the north side of Mile 6 Road. This is a 12-lot residential subdivision, and the water CCN belongs to Awa Sud. With regards to water, the developer is proposing to connect to existing 8-inch lines along Minnesota and on the east side of Western Road, and another 8-inch line that runs along the north side of Mile 6 Road. Sanitary sewer services will be addressed by individual on-site sewage facilities. The nearest sewer line is four miles away from this particular site. Uh, there was no opposition at PNZ. The board recommended approval. Staff is recommending approval, as is our city manager and respected de departments. Item 3.2 is now before you. Are there any questions? Council? I'll move for approval. Second. There's a motion and a second to accept the final plat approval for 6 Western Vega subdivision. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. <coughs> the motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Next item, Ms. Angie. Good afternoon, Mayor and City Council. Item 3.3 .3 is the tax collection report for the month of August 2018. The 2017 total adjusted tax levy was $20,035,598.88, and the amount of collections as of August 31, 2018 is $19,335,389.97, which represents 96.51% of the total tax levy. Staff and City Manager recommend approval. Move for approval. Second. There's a motion and a second to accept the tax report as presented. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Next item, Mr. Gutierrez. Good afternoon, Mayor Pro Tem, City Council. I would like to execute fifth year renewal service disposal agreement with I Light Waste. This is the fifth year renewal for the seventh year contract. Estimated cost 890000 cities, staff and city manager. Recommend approval. Okay. Any questions or motion? Mayor Pro Tem, I have a question. Yes. Do we fine. go out for bids for this? If, I know it's an extension, but are they going to be? Are they the lowest? After, bid? after the seven year, yes, ma'am. Oh, after. Yes. Okay. That was part of the. This was part of the, part of the uh, agreement. agreement with the lawsuit we had about four years ago. But there's so many companies ago. that do this, is there? There's uh, the the other one is at City of Edinburgh. Right. One of the things we've already set up a meeting with the City of Edinburgh uh, with Mr. Go, Mr. Gomez. Gomez, um, so we can discuss future agreements, possible future agreements based on what type of, of uh, fees they're going to have cost. for us. Oh, okay. and this is Just the landfill, right? Money. That's for the landfill, yes, sir. Yes. I move for approval. Second. Okay. There's a motion and a second to um, authorize and execute the fifth year renewal service disposal agreement with Allied Waste as presented. <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Item 3.5, authorized to purchase 96 gallon garbage cans as needed. VIHGAC contract number RC01-18 for the city sanitation <coughs> department. The cost will be used for inventory for future city growth. Estimated cost 62,000. Staff and city manager approved. We recommend approval. Sorry. Didn't we already approve this? It seemed like a month ago we something like this. No? Is it just me? Just me? Okay. <laughs> the, the city's growing, yes, sir. I'll move to approve. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize the purchase of 96-gallon garbage carts as needed. 
Um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion <coughs> carries unanimously. Thank, Thank you. you. <coughs> Mr. Benson. Good evening, Mayor of Tim, City Council. I have before you item 3.6, which is the authorization to purchase air conditioned filter ser services for city facilities via state approved by board contract uh, number 552 17. This is, would, would be with Joe W. Fly Company, otherwise known as JF Filtration, <coughs> incorporated via by board contract number 522 17 at a monthly cost of $1,090 and an annual cost of $13,080. Staff and city manager recommend approval. <clears throat> Any questions? I move to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second for uh, the approval of the or to authorize the purchase of air conditioning filters. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank Next you. item. Item 3.7 is the authorization to purchase uh, pool chemicals for two city swimming pools, splash pad, and the fountain at Mission Event Center via state approved by board contract number 533-17. This would be with Aquatic Co Commercial Solutions Incorporated via by board number 533-17 at an annual cost of $45,000. Uh, with the services of the provision of the chemicals, it includes also the purchase of said chemicals, the acid feeder systems, and the integrated electronic system, otherwise known as IES, to monitor and control the pH level, the chlorine concentrations, and to provide it, uh, they are provided at no extra charge uh, with, with us buying the chemicals. Staff and city manager recommend approval. Okay, any questions or motion? More to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize the purchase of pool equipments for, I mean, pool chemicals, sorry, for two city swimming pools, splash pad, and the fountain at the Mission Event Center. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank Next you. Item, item, item 3.8 is the authorization to purchase via state approved by board contract number. 569-18, which is uh, for custodial supplies and equipment for city facilities. This would be with Gulf Coast Paper Company via by board number 569-18 at an annual cost of $53,000. Staff and city manager recommend approval. Okay. Any questions or motion? Move for approval. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize a purchase yeah, via state by working. board uh, for custodial supplies. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. <coughs> Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Item 3.9 is the authorization to add additional right-of-way mowing areas to the, to the existing TDL properties contract. This is newly added areas which would include mile 2 west of Conway and Inspiration Road between Interstate 2 and mile 3 west at an estimated cost of $7,436.34. Uh, that will take us to the end of this current contract, which ends in January. Uh, excuse, excuse me, ends in February. February, okay. Yes. Uh, the state and city manager recommend approval. Okay. Move for approval. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize the additional right-of-way mowing areas to the existing TDL properties contract. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Next item, Mr. Avila. Uh, good afternoon, Mayor Pro Tem and Council. Uh, I come before you with item 3.10. It's seeking authorization to purchase automotive parts, fluids, main equipment, and supplies from Apple Auto Parts by contract 55-17, O'Reilly's Auto Parts by contract 55-15, and AutoZone by contract R170201 for City Fleet Department. These purchases will be as a needed basis for fiscal year 2018 and 19 for repairs in all city vehicles and special equipment estimated cost at 75,000. And of course, these uh, stores are here located here in the city of Mission. Okay, great. Um, Move any for questions? approval. Second. There are a motion and a second to authorize the purchase of automotive parts, fluids, and maintenance equipment from Napa Auto Parts via the by board. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 3.11 is a seeking authorization to purchase tires from Hesselbean Tire Southwest Smart by contract 47-14 via tire centers for the city fleet department. Purchases of 
will be as on needed basis for the fiscal year 2018-19 for all city vehicles and special equipment. Uh, Hessel Bean is a co-op that gives us government pricing and the warehouse is located here in the city of Mission on Business Park Drive for an estimated cost of 290000 The staff and city manager recommend approval. Okay. Any questions? Move for approval. Second. There's, there's a motion and a second to authorize the purchase of tires. Uh, from Hesselbing Tire Southwest Smart Bike Contract. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lot of tires. That's a lot of tires. <laughs> yeah. Robert? Hi. <coughs> yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, Mayor uh, Pro Tem City Council members. I come before you seeking authorization to purchase equipment via state approved contract for the Public Works Department. This purchase will be via by board contract 509. 509- 509-16, 16, and it will be for a 6-inch uh, diameter discharge hoses with fittings for a 6-inch uh, drainage storm water <coughs> pumps for the streets and drainage department. The cost is uh, $10,800. Staff and city manager recommend approval for the purchase. Okay. Are there any questions or a motion? More to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize the purchase of um, the equipment via state approved contract for the Public Works Department. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Yes, uh, item uh, 3.13 is the authorization to solicit bids for liquid emulsion polymer for the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, staff and city manager recommend approval. Okay. Any questions? Move for approval. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize to uh, solicit bids for liquid emulsion polymer for the wastewater treatment plant. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Yes, ma'am. Um, item uh, 3.14 is the authorization to solicit uh, for bids for liquid polymer uh, for the north and south water uh, treatment plants. Uh, staff and city manager recommend approval for this. Okay. Any questions? I move to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize a, to solicit for bids for um, the north and south water treatment plants, polymer liquids. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Next item. Yes, ma'am. Uh, item 3.15, uh, authorization to solicit bids for the purchase of corrosion inhibitor, inhibitor for the north and south water treatment plant, plants. Uh, staff and city manager recommend approval. Any questions? Move for approval. Second. There's a motion. I mean, there's a, a motion and a second to solicit bids to purchase <coughs> the corrosion inhibitor for the north and south water plants. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Yeah, thank <coughs> you. Next item. Yes. Good afternoon, Mayor Pertim and Good council afternoon. members. Uh, item 3.16 is authorization to solicit bids for housing assistance program phase 17-3. Uh, this is for a reconstruction of a two-bedroom home located at 209 North Carolyn. Staff and city manager recommend approval. Okay. Are there any questions? Move for approval. Second. Okay, there's a motion and a second to uh, authorize uh, to, for the solicitation of, uh, solicitation of bids for 209 North Carolyn. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, all opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Next item. Ms. Garza, on 3.17, the interlocal agreement between the City of Mission and the City of Peñitas, I'm going to ask that if we table this item. Okay. Uh, I'd like to reword some of the language that's part of the contract and bring it back to the next City Council meeting if it's okay with you all. That's so perfect. Uh, is there a motion to that effect? Move to table the item. No second. There's a motion and a second to table the item, which would be the agreement between the City of Mission and the City of Benitas. All in favor to table say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, any unfinished business? That anybody? No? All right. We'll go to routine matters. City manager's comments. Uh, yes, ma'am. Just uh, an invitation to the uh, public and our city officials. We do have a couple of things. We do have the ribbon cutting for the Leo Peña Placita Park coming up on October the 4th at 9.30 in the morning. And then, of course, we have our National Night Out we're celebrating this year, uh, also on October the 4th on Thursday 
at 6.30 p.m. We're all invited, and uh, we hope to, to see you there and that you all can join us. All right. Sounds like fun. Anything else? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Um, city Council comments? Uh, none at this time, Mayor. I have none. Um, Ruben? Yeah, I would like to, I don't know if Martin can check with the Chamber or the Economic Development in working something in our business community to make sure they keep their lawns nice. Um, I think that says a lot about our business community. Um, good example, and I'm not ashamed to say that the CBS on, Fort, on Expressway and Cherry Road the plaza south of there, I mean, it just, it's not us. I don't think that's the city of mission. I don't think it speaks to all of, all of us here as, as leaders of the community. So maybe we can form a committee or bring us something to us to incentivize the, the business owners to, to take pride. Because I know a lot of those people, the tenants, I'm surprised that they don't demand from the landlord to keep the area nice and clean. And I really would like to also ask Mr. Acevedo that whenever they bring something to us, make sure they comply with the landscaping uh, requirements that we have. Trees, like for example, you presented some that there's nothing mentioned about the landscaping. And I think this is the time when they come and ask for approval of something some sort. I know that some, sometimes it's the, the, the tenants coming to us for, for permits, but this is the time where we can, and I, I think this will help to beautify and to make our community more attractive for investors. So I don't know if we can come out with something like that. I know I had asked this several times, but it's, I think it'd be something good for, right. for and, the community. Right, and to, to answer to that, uh, Mr. Plata, we did have a conversation with uh, Robert from the Chamber. We actually donated to them uh, seven butterflies that were currently finalized, and part of that was to use those as incentives for the business to, to be able to compete against other businesses and be able to receive a butterfly in, in front of their location. So we'll follow up with uh, the new staff over at the Chamber to see where we're at with that project. Okay. Thank you, sir. Picture. Um, I just wanted to mention Kelsey Villalobos. She's outside. She's a fifth grader at Mims Elementary. And so excited because each one of us up here engage young minds. And um, if for you all that don't know, at Mims Elementary, they have Mustangville. And they um, have an election coming up for mayor and city council. And Kelsey Villalobos is going to be running for place one, my place. So it's really exciting. So congratulations. <laughs> Does she want to come and say hi? You gonna come say hi? Come up. Say a few words. She can use your microphone. Yeah. Let her use your microphone. You just give her your chair. You wanna come say hi? <laughs> you can talk. Can you say move to adjourn? <laughs> <laughs> Move to adjourn. There you go. Second. <laughs> Second. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 It means adjourn. Aye.